I would like to start off by introducing myself. I know some of you may know me, but for those who know, who don't, I go by many titles. <laughs> Leader, mentor, friend, but most importantly, engineer. My name is Rafael Romero, my major is Biomedical Engineering, and I am running for ALE Vice Presidency. First, I want to say thank you for the opportunity to be in SHIP, and thank you, oh, and I am honored to be nominated for such a prestigious position. Next, I must apologize. I must apologize for not finding my home away from home sooner. I must apologize for taking so long to find this familia. And I must apologize that I didn't get involved sooner. But I, am, but I am here now, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. First, I would like to talk about my transition from high school as it was as recent as last year. Like a good story, I'll start from the beginning. <laughs> not from when I was born, but you know, <laughs> the transition from high school to college this summer. <clears throat> over, the sum uh, over, the su over, the over the past summer, I met a ton of great people in the program called New Start. That's where I met the lovely Mighty Cruz, right there, four from eight. And that's where my college experience began. After meeting new people and finding a sense of home, they were immediately stripped away and I was thrown into a pool of 40,000, alone and afraid. At first, I was lost and ended up in Math Cats, a math major club which a friend invited me to. Even though the people were nice and optimistic, I could never get over the fact that I didn't belong. Then one day, while sitting in Calc 2, I heard Ramon talk about CHIP and I wanted to attend the meetings, but sadly, it did not correspond with my schedule. However, this semester, times, the times had been changed and I was finally able to come. I was greeted by a somewhat familiar face, Isaac, who attended my high school and was quick to make that one-on-one -on -one connection. Afterwards, I was humiliated at a game of rock, paper, scissors against the fabulous Elizabeth and, will le and was left thinking that this was too much excitement for one day. <laughs> you might be wondering, why is this guy telling us his life story? Just get to the point. Oh, just let me finish. <laughs> the reason why you should vote for me as a worthy cabinet as numerous, are numerous and plentiful. First, coming from a small town near the border, I am very passionate about inspiring others, especially Hispanics in engineering who think that they can't make it in this industry. The reason is, I was in their shoes and I was told at a very young age that I couldn't make it. Now look at me now. <laughs> in my family, I am seen as a role model, being the first to come to college and pursuing a college degree. My father did everything he could to provide and my mother was the same thing. Without them, I wouldn't be here today. Whenever I return home, I am greeted by my primos and sister who told me that they want to be me when they grow up. That is all I can ask for. It makes me seem like I'm doing something right, and to give you fellowship members the same opportunity during ALE is life-changing. In addition, I propose the idea to keep in touch with fellow alumni of the program and ask them what we can improve on. Some, being freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, give them the chance to come again the following year. Let me tell you something right now. Anyone can do anything once, just to say that they did. But what, we need them, but what we need from them is to keep coming back and keep them thinking, hey, this is fun, I love what these guys do, how can I get more involved, and just how can it be in shit? Uh, I want you guys to look to your left and look to your right. Chances are one of those two people are graduating this year, leaving their experience and expectations in our hands. Being one of the three freshmen in this room, makes recruitment a possibility as well and a way to put our name out there as more, if not all, participants will be attending the University of Arizona. We are leaving a legacy of those before us and we ship are nothing without its members. Let's get those relationships just like how I met Marty Cruz, uh, being Calcris Ramon, Isaac coming up to me, Elizabeth destroying any confidence I had left that day. <laughs> Let's make a difference and it starts right here, right now. Rafael Romero for ALEVP. Leave your vote and trust in the right hands. Woo! Uh, questions? questions and questions. Perfect. What would you do differently um, if you were elected from what ALE did this year? Uh, just, you know, increase the number of participants that we get from schools. 
outreaching to more schools, providing better, if not like, oh, I know Asahi did a great job this year, but we, there's always room for improvement. <laughs> Um, so a lot of the kids that came this year came last year, and they might come in the, this this next year. Um, and they complain well, they didn't complain, but they said that they had already done these workshops. So what would you do about that if you were chosen? Um, just like I said in my speech, I want to reach out to them. I want to make that one-on-one -on -one connection, and I want to hear from them. I want to hear what they want to do and what they want us or what they expect us as a university of like Arizona ship members. Uh, just. How can like we fit their needs, like what they're interested in? So are you gonna ask them like beforehand? Uh yeah, I follow. I plan to like follow up on the schools, the fellow alumni of the program, uh, see what they're interested in, what's gonna make them come back, and just how can I get them more interested in engineering? Uh, Nayla, or yeah, Nayla. I know usually they always go back uh, and recruit students from like the same high schools. Uh, what would you recommend them do? Uh, I plan to keep the same like the same high schools as well as bring in new high schools just to get that just to get just to get the like the fellow alumni of the program the same like thing oh not same but like a different thing and just bring in more people as well. And Fabian? Okay, well, that's kinda of wrong question. Okay, Karina. Okay. So a lot of the schools and I would argue the ones that need it most don't really have the money sometimes to come here or to, you know, have the time to come here. Um, so like how would you go about bringing the schools that are really underfunded and underrepresented to come uh, to the event? Well, I would talk to my fellow e-board members as well as probably the treasurer. Uh, ask them on what advice I can do, any scholarships that we can provide them, any transportation we can do, anything to get them over here. And we'll do the rest. Ah, uh, yeah, Fabian, okay. So, one of the, the hard parts about this event is getting students interested. How do you plan on getting them interested in actually participating within the events that we do? Uh, like they said with Yaya, just asking them what they want to do, and like obviously if you if they want to do something that they like want to do, then they're gonna want to do it. That makes sense. <laughs>